Today's video being reviewed was filmed by Lucan's Hazard. The original video is only 5 minutes 31 seconds long, but is long enough to see that the fire department is in dire need of retraining on how to approach and extinguish a structure fire. We pick up the video just before the fire department's arrival, so we have an outstanding vantage point to see what was done, or should I say, what was not done. We have a well-involved trailer park home with fire showing from the dwelling. There appears to be wires down on the left side of the video. As the engine company pulls on scene, it appears to be a two-member engine. This is not enough people to be effective, especially when it appears these two people are in need of training. As a brush rig pulls on scene behind them, the trailer is going well. It takes approximately two minutes from when the engine arrives to them applying water to the trailer with an under supplied hose line. In this instance, that is too long. The second engine company is trying to establish a hose line, but notice the male is not fully dressed in his firefighting gear and the female does not even have a helmet on her head to protect herself. In firefighting, safety must be your main consideration. I've said it many times before, we don't bring problems to the incident. At this point, both companies have their firefighting lines insufficiently supplied with water and pressure. I think from a professional perspective, it would have been better for the two companies to work together to accomplish their common goal. If these firefighters had laid out the line correctly, there would have been no need to have several people trying to adjust the holes and remove the kink so the water will flow. If the firefighter on the right side of the screen is a firefighter, why is there a need for him to drop down to his knees outside on the grass instead of doing like the job title says and be a firefighter that fights the fire? In the final evaluation, I think most people would agree that these firefighting efforts are subpar at best. The community that has entrusted their safety to these individuals deserves better than this from the people that are sworn to protect them. They deserve more slash better. We must do better.